Hello friends, friends, this video is not for those who have not yet received Sparsh login ID and password. This video is for those who have received their Sparsh login ID and password but unfortunately are not able to recollect their ID or password. The reason can be any. For example, they might have deleted the email containing ID and password or are not able to log in to the email registered with Sparsh where Sparsh had sent their Sparsh login ID or password. In this video, we will learn on how to recover your Sparsh login ID and password. For that, let us head towards internet or Google Chrome. Now you are on internet and here you type Sparsh Defense and click on it. The page will open and on top Sparsh Defense Pensioners URL will be there. You click on this and this will lead you to Sparsh site main page. Now we are on Sparsh website main page and alert will come. Click on OK to dismiss this alert. After dismissing the alert, scroll down and find view all services and click on this. Once you click on view all services, this type of page will come where report, missing report, conviction, start, family pension, etc. Scroll down until you find know your Sparsh PPO and identification status. In this you click on the right side tab. Once you click on the tab, another tab with continue written on it will open. You can click on this continue. Once you click on continue, another page with the heading please check your identification status after 48 hours of request submission will open. In this there will be a heading with unique identifier and there will be another heading with same unique identifier. There will be four options so you have to select either one of them. Bank account number, your personal number, Sparsh PPO number or ePPO number. So let us assume that you are selecting personal number in the first unique identifier. So if you select personal number then you have to put this personal number here on the corresponding column. After you put the personal number because you have selected personal number then you have to go to the unique identifier number 2 column and here you have to select another option. You cannot select personal number again. You have to select some other option. So let us say that you know your bank account number where your pension is being received. You select this and accordingly now you will have to fill this bank account number in this box. After you fill both this information that is first box and second box you have to fill in the captcha code in this box which is below the captcha code. So after you do all this then you have to select search. I will now fill in this information and select search. Now as you see I have filled in the personal number and bank account number. Now I will click on search. After you click on search, scroll down. Here you will find your original PPO number displayed under details, your name, your Sparsh PPO number. This Sparsh PPO number 
is the login id you will have to suffix it with 01 so whatever is the login id uh, whatever is the first ppo number displayed here for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 whatever after that you have to add 01 if you are the pensioner and 02 if you are family pensioner so this will become your login id i hope it is clear now that this sparsh login id you have recovered now how to get the sparsh password which you have forgotten for that you are seeing this login button you click on this login button once you click on this login button user login page will come and in this second but last one option is there forgot password you click on this forgot password once you click on forgot password the page will come where you have to enter your username username is the sparsh id which we have recovered so click fill in that sparsh id here and click on send otp this otp will be sent to your registered mobile number in case you are not knowing how to register your mobile number i have given that link in the description you can use that link to register your mobile number once you click on send otp another pop up will appear one time password has been sent to registered mobile number please enter the same here to proceed you click on okay and then another screen will open where now i have entered username i have entered the password or rather otp and i will click on proceed another pop up will come acknowledgement default password has been retriggered on your registered mobile slash email kindly log in to portal on sparsh defense pension dot gov dot in now you have been given a password you can accordingly change your password by using this password which has been sent to your mobile number or email i will click on okay after click on clicking on okay it will lead me to the main page of sparsh here i will have to again click on login once i click on login again it will ask for the username that is the sparsh id which we had recovered and password will be sent to your mobile or email id that has to be entered here this captcha has to be entered in this box and then you have to click on login i will do all this and click on login so i have now filled in all the information now i will click on login another pop up will come two factor authentication otp number has been generated successfully and sent to your registered mobile number and email otp will expire after 10 minutes of generator two factor authentication now we will enter the otp sent to the mobile i have now entered otp sent to my mobile and i will click on submit another page will open change password you can change your password here please keep your password safe here you have to enter the password which was sent to you on your mobile for resetting the password here you can create new password and then you have to re enter that new password now there are some things which should be taken into consideration when you choose a password these are given here password should have minimum 8 characters and maximum 12 characters it should have at least one lower case one upper case it should have at least one number and these characters should not be there which are given here a password may contain a 
space but this cannot be at the start or end please do not use any other special characters ex uh, other than shown above so once you correctly select a password or uh, create a password it will show green this line will show green i will show you how see i have entered the password which was sent to the mobile and here i have entered a new password this password has been accepted and it is showing green this should show green that means the password which you have created is correct then you have to enter the same password again here and click on submit i will click on submit once you click on submit another pop up will come confirmation your password has been changed successfully you will now be logged out to avail services log in with your updated credentials so now you are knowing your login id and you are also changed your password now if you click on okay it will lead you to the main page where you can fill in the first login id and password and log in to avail the services with this i end this video if you want to encourage this channel please subscribe like share comment meet you with the next video till then good bye